Speaking of sports, uh, what do you know about cricket? I love cricket. Well, cricket is blowing up in this country. It's not it? blowing up. They had up. a fucking article in the paper that is like cricket leagues all over New York City. Shit, man. Uh, th- I, that's, I bet you that's just expats. That's just British people oh, and Australian I've seen, people. I've seen, no, it's you a lot of Caribbean guys. You see them in the parks oh, uh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're West taking Indies, over the, the parks. West yeah, West Indies. Indies. With their cricket uh, In Central shit. Park and it's, shit. It's the, it's the second, Park, second most popular sport in the world. Why, though? Because I India are into it, and they're, they're one sixth of the population, and that's the only sport they play. Well, so I don't get it. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, well, yeah. It, if looks, I was it to looks like baseball, it, but it's not. No, it's nothing like baseball. It's more, it's a slightly more skilled game um, than baseball on the account that there's different forms of bowling. The ball bounces. You're working off a pitch that it's a five day game, right? This is what you got to remember. The game, each game goes for five days. Five. <laughs> Five days, oh, and fuck. and it will probably end in a draw. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, is that a Who has time for that shit? <laughs> when did they cut off the beer? Awful. After the fourth day? They used, <laughs> no, yeah, right. they used to play back like 80 years ago. They used to just play, we play the game until it finishes. Mm-hmm. and 12 days or something. There'd be some cunt Why that would just... Why does it take so long? Why can't they do it in an afternoon? Yeah, what the fuck? They, they also have one day cricket. They had to make it more exciting. So they've one got day's one, too long. A day. One day's... They've got 2020, which is still half a day, but um, that's the smallest one. But it's not very good. What, half a day. one day cricket. Why is right. half a day good? Because you can't get everyone out in that time, so everyone's just trying to slog it over the fence. There's no real skill to it. T- test cricket's where it's at. The five day game is tactically one of the most exciting things. You know, it's it's all about what's going to happen the next day and whether they'll <laughs> oh declare and, and and can this guy like there's guys you can make. I have no clue. Uh, no, what the, this game because, is about it, it, that what it would take five fucking days. Like, let's say you score a hundred runs, right? You get, you get a century, right? Uh, it's a called century. a century. Yeah, and then oh, you get you get runs. You get like Don Bradman, I think, got three hundred and fifty-two, and a guy called uh, Mark Taylor Why also got three hundred fifty-two. Why does the score have to be so high? That took him. That took him three days to do that. Right, Why just does the score out. have to be so high? Because you keep batting until you get out. So fucking catch the ball. So why no, why no, can't people get him out? Just, what does it take to get somebody out? All right, this is Throw the, the, the way to get out. The next guy. You have to th- catch you, it with you, your b- ass. Behind you, <laughs> behind you, you have three sticks. Three yeah, sticks. Yeah, I've seen that. Right, They're seen called it. the stumps, and then on top of it, they have these things called the the bales, What's which that? Are, Little tiny sticks that rest on top of the sticks. Yeah. Right? And your idea is to knock these things off, right? So there's several ways you can do it. You can bowl a ball directly into it, and that'll knock it off. If someone puts their leg directly in front of it and the ball's coming directly at it, and it's it's below the knee roll so it wouldn't bounce over, the umpire can go, that would have hit the stumps. So that's out as well. You can catch the ball. You can get caught behind. If you just chip it, the guy behind can catch it. You can also you, you have a crease that you have to stand in, right? <laughs> and if you go out of that crease, the guy behind the wicketkeeper can catch it, and then smash your bales off, right? That doesn't happen very often, That's right? And then you can get run out where you have to run back and forth for each one of your runs. <laughs> That's so dumb. And then you also got this is how you score your runs. <laughs> it's baseball for a retarded. You've got you can get six runs if you hit it over the fence. What fence? For the 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 fence where the people are sitting. Is what there do you mean like a home run? The boundary. Is there an out of bounds? That's the fence. Is yeah. There, is yeah. there a foul pole? No, no foul pole. It's round. What it's, do you mean? They it's play round. in an oval. So everything is fair, no matter where it no goes. No matter where it goes, everywhere around you is fair. That's dumb. They play on an oval. It's, a, this it's is like you can't, m- fucking it's base- mongoloid baseball. It's baseball right, so in the let's, round. Let's see. Let's see a bit of footage of this, right? Why? Yeah, where uh, well, Travis has just pulled up. Pulled up. All right. So you see here, you can hit it anywhere <laughs> there. It's a very big area. Yeah. It, it says England leads by 45 runs. How do no, you hit, that's nothing. That's nothing. I, I, uh, apparently. How do you hit it, like, behind you? There you go. It's just chipped off him. What, oh, what, okay. what is that? <laughs> yeah, that, that there. It sounds like he's the commentator. This now, is great. Now you've got different things. You've got, you got, that's, 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 that's a pace baller. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now the, the guy with the bat is trying to defend the fucking. Uh... He, he's trying to defend it and hit. Now that's a pay, that guy's just bowling quick. A guy called Glenn well, McGrath, right? He was a very good pace bowler. Then you got guys like spin bowlers. They do it slowly, but they flick it. Now this thing that they're bowling on this strip, right, is is called the wicket, right? And over yeah. the days, well, all it is is they just put a bit of tar, like a bit of tarpaulin over the grass. That's just a dried up bit of grass, right? They make all the rest of the grass really nice, and they make that bit into shit. 
right? <laughs> and over the day, cracks will emerge and it'll get really, like, you can shove your car keys in them, like proper, <laughs> proper cracks, right? And, and the idea is to bowl it at the cracks so it might go in all different directions. And oh, kind of use it. Uh, to your, yeah. Now, the guy throwing the, the ball, And it's, it's a harder ball than a baseball. Yeah. It's more solid. He's trying to knock down the sticks. Yeah, knock down the sticks. So he might just and try to bowl at his head or something. All right. Why the fuck is he up in the way? Now, what's the guy No, with he's the... standing at the other end. Wait, what other he's... end? There's two batsmen out at a time. Oh, okay. And they'll run back and forth, you see. Oh, I got you. I didn't know that. Yeah, and, and you get 10 batsmen and you get two innings and, like, each batsman can get, like, up to, like, 300 runs if he's any good, you know, but... <laughs> it's so what about the fans? Do they get tickets for all five days? Yeah, fuck yeah. Or sometimes you have the to go- spend a week at a some- baseball game. <laughs> so stupid. And, and, and it works. you start at ten. Monday through Friday. You start at t- it goes from ten till six. It's an eight hour day. That's that's a long day. Yeah. Oh, hey, fuck you. Yeah. Eight hours. And, and it's blisteringly hot. Oh, you get you get drunk. Now what happens if you knock down the fucking sticks? He's out. And when you bring another batsman in, we've got ten of them. You get ten outs. Well, you get nine outs because there's two at a time. Okay. Because the last guy can't stay out by himself. Right. What? So, so he's not out if put, he put put Shane Warne bowl of the century. Put Sh- Shane Warne. I'll show you. This is the best best bowl that anyone's ever done. How can we tell? Because I'm going to explain it to you. And what's a wicked googly? A googly is a ball that, that goes the other thinking. way. Right? So Spimble will go that way. Googly will go that way. So it looks like it's coming out of the hand that way. Shane Warne, Warn? not Ward, not Ward Warne. W a r n e. There we and go. Eight. Ball of the century. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing, mate. Look at this. All right. We're watching Shane Warren. This, 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 guy, this guy's the greatest bowler ever. Like, he's like the Michael Jordan of cricket. And you can tell? It's ESPN, the yeah. legends of cricket. The use of leg spin bowling was becoming a lost art at test level. See how he was out of here? The blonde Shane Warren arrived on the international scene in 1991. Oh, so straight through so his leg. I don't get so what I just saw. I don't understand. And, and this guy he here. Look at this guy. 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 Look the ball of the century. Oh! It went through the bat and the pat. I don't. But it bounced there and then it ended up there. I don't understand what we just saw, for real. The guy. The guy with. Look how much it moves. I don't know. The guy with the bat thing is. Is. Like the goalie, he's defending the sticks. He's like the batter. Like but he's, yeah, the same but way. Wait, 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 wait. He's his job is to fucking defend the sticks. Defend the sticks and make runs as and well. And make runs. So if he smacks that fucking thing, yeah, but it doesn't go out of the park. He can still run back and forth. He can run back and forth and do what? Each each time he runs the distance, and like the other batsman has to do it as well. So they have to go run one, one, two. two. Okay, so right. he's making runs. Right. So you can do like you can. And then get until, three until what happens? Until so they hit the sticks. And then no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> They're running back and forth. They're until, running back and forth. When do they stop running? Well, they stop, they stop running because if you're caught running there and someone hits the sticks and you're not back in your crease, you're out. So what? When, when it looks so like it, they could hit your sticks, you better get back in so yeah, you somebody's better the, gonna, the slot. So, so you knocked the ball somewhere. Yeah. So somebody went and got the ball. Yeah. And now he's running. He wants to get those fucking sticks. Yeah, he wants but to get But you're running sticks. back and forth, and you look, and you go, I better get back to my sticks. In the same way that you got to reach the bag in baseball before the, before the other guy gets Don't compare this All to right. baseball, my friend. I'm get, I, I, I kind of understand that part of it. All right. Now, 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 Holy shit. There we go. Is that, see, when they wear the colored clothes like that, this is one day cricket. But uh, there we go. Look at that bastard just whack it up. Now, here's the, here's the hand signals. It's just like watching a home run. Here's, okay, here's, that's, that means six. That means six, right? Why does two mean six? It just, it just does, right? <laughs> and, 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 and that there means you're out. That there means you're just out. Just a one, you holding that, a one up. Right? But if, you're you, out. if you get four, you get four. It's this one. <laughs> You're making like a little wavy you motion like with your hand across with, your body. Across right. your body with yeah. one hand. Let me say hi to Alex. He wants in on this. Uh, Alex. Hey. Hey, hey, Jim. Ex- please explain, because I remember some guy trying to explain this fiasco to me in college, how you bowl the ball. Is it true that they have to run up and then throw the ball with their arm perfectly straight and has to bounce like two or three times? No, it, only, it doesn't have to bounce at all. That's, that's a fallacy because you can do one that's – most people do bounce because then there's a variance on the ball that makes it harder for the batter to hit because it could bounce in any direction. Your arm has to be straight, like an above your head in a fluid motion. But you can actually, it is legal to do it underarm, but no one would ever do that. So if your arm's like bent like like that, you're called a chucker, and that's like just calling a guy gay in a bar. 
<laughs> Someone's like, a chucker. chucker. Yeah, it'd be a, a chucker. chucker. Yeah, but you got to you got you got to run and then over the top, bang like that. Right. And it's a natural motion. So like like bowlers in cricket aren't like pitchers in baseball where they, they throw the, their, their arm arms go to shit time. or whatever. Yeah. So. Punching out. All right. So, so now now the guy just hit the fucking thing. Now he's got to run back and forth. Back, well, he doesn't have to run back and forth. He can just stand there if he wants to. Oh, oh look at that one. Was a good wow, one. that was a good one. What if, you, only, what if only one comes off? Are you humoring him, man? How do you know can that's that happen? Good, you're starting to understand this a little bit? That can't happen, right? One. Uh, oh, oh, he hit it back onto his stumps. Fucking idiot. Oh, now, the, now they're showing some of the fielding where the guys are jumping, grabbing the ball, throwing it back. Now, yep. now this is impressive. If you do classic catches, that ball is like concrete. That's a lot harder, and they've got no gloves. Why don't they have gloves? Because we're men. <laughs> what if you catch it? Oh, if you, ca- if you catch did. it, you're out as they well. They just showed that guy fucking catching it. Look at that shit. I don't know. All right, so this guy's catching it. Oh, well, he well, fucked well, it up. He bobbled it, but he'll get it. Watch. There we go. Yeah. He's all right. Wicket keeping. Now, the wicket keeper's got gloves. The guy at the back, but he's like the catcher in baseball. Now, you see how he's standing close? That's for a spin bowler so he can knock the bales off. But if there's a pace bowler, he'll stand way back like that because the ball's traveling so fast. Can he throw it at the... Sticks from yeah, he can't really, but he normally just palms it off to someone who's got both hands free to chuck it oh out. Oh my god! All right, un fucking believably confusing. Shoddy uh, Carpenter is reminding us that we have the ball of the century video clip. Yeah, yeah, we do. Where's Brian? Oh, There's Brian Lara. Lara. Hold on, I'm gonna write something for Danny. What the hell's that? Continue. We have the ball of the century. Brian Lara. He's one of the great cricketers from the West Indies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there yes. you go. Now we he's want... running back and forth. <laughs> yeah. They're South Africa. They're dirty bastards, South Africans. <laughs> dirty bastards. They explain cricket in four minutes on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it says this is cricket, this is cricket four. four minute overview. No, not the Jim Jeffries ten minutes and then just run. I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> now I kind of understand a little bit of what you're talking about. And now if it goes out of the fucking and it's a flat bat, so there's a lot more. A lot more shots you can do. So you can chip it over, you can whack it yeah, hard, you can, you can just flick it over. And you can, you can put the fielders wherever you want. So there's a lot more tactical sport because, like, with certain batters, they'll move them all in, or yeah. with other guys, they'll move them out to the Now, band. if it goes out into the crowd... Six runs. That's six runs. Six, that's pretty good, The that. guy doesn't have to run back and forth six times? No, nah, he just fucking lives, he just lives goes, in the glory. He, so he puts up two fingers. He's no, like, no, well, the, the, the umpire The umpire go, puts yeah, up two yeah, fingers yeah, for okay, six. Now, have you ever watched Aussie Rules Football? <laughs> Aussie rules football. <laughs> now I can talk. Now put something on. Aussie that rules shit football. Is fucked up. It's, uh, I don't even understand. I don't even understand it. It's a Melbourne thing. I'm from it, Sydney. It kind of has a little rugby and a little bit of rugby, a little bit of this. Put put Aussie rules best marks. You ever seen Aussie rules football? At yes, Holy and that's where they shit. score like this. They got that. So you get six points if it goes to the middle. And if it goes, if it misses, but just by a little bit, you get one point, right? Because Australia have that mentality of, ah, oh, you had a go. <laughs> yeah. You had it. Give him a point, you fucking asshole. You had a go. <laughs> Holy shit. AFL at its best. Here we go. Look you at this. You can't just give a, a, a point. Yeah. Because he. Here we go. He, yeah. All right. Now, oh, oh shit! They hit no hard. fucking pads. They're insane. But they're they're all tall. It's a catching and kicking game. Yeah, they just catch and kick constantly. That's all it is. Oi! <laughs> Look at these fucking crazy <laughs> bastards. <laughs> oh they're shit! Fucking animals. No shoulder pads. No helmets. No, not even sleeves. They're just fuck. Yeah, no, they're wearing shorts. And you know if they want to pass the ball, they can't throw it. You no? got you got to have it in the hand, and you got to punch it out with the other hand. Are you shitting me? No, you got to say the passable. You got to go. That's like that. silly. Well, the idea is that if you have one arm free, you can't hand it off. You just got to let go of it. So oh. they try. They try to disable you. So that's six through the. Ah, there we go. Look at that. What a wonderful what do you sport. Mean, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. What a wonderful sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking. We're looking, going. I have no idea what this is. This is like being an alien. Yeah. Yeah. But women, women, see these big things. They jump Holy on each other's shit. They, they jump, jump up on, each... on each other to get up high enough. Yeah, you're to allowed. Catch the you're allowed to put, you put. You're allowed to put your knee into the other person's back and spring off the other person's body. They and pu- like, and like, they push you up. Yeah, as you're jumping. So, oh, they're, so you they're, get like they're, 20 they're feet getting. In the air. Yeah, well, they're getting about you know sort of ten, twelve feet in the air. You know? Oh, and then the I remember seeing the ref do this. He goes, <laughs> he, he like he like points his. Two fingers out. Yeah, that, oh, that, that means six. That means one. It depends on which six side. Six and one again? Yeah, that's six or one. But it's one All finger. Right. Uh, Alex wants in here. Alex yeah. from Omaha. What's up, Alex? 
Yes, I'd like to call Jim Jeffries a cheat because they fucking do do underarm bowling. Oh, here, here we go. All right, let, let me explain. Yeah, let, yeah, me explain. let me explain. Oh, let me explain. Shit. Let me explain. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, this this man this man we we're talking to. Yeah. Shh, stop it, young New Zealand man. Now this this man that we're talking to is from a country called New Zealand, a small known country, which is basically Australia's retarded little brother. <laughs> now a lot of sheep fuckers now, there yeah, too. A lot more sheep than there yeah, are people. Yeah, now yeah. now the thing is the thing is what happened is many 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 years ago in the, was it the seventies or the it was in the eighties in the eighties. Late eighties. Um, the Chapel Brothers, who are this this famous cricketing people from Australia, <laughs> Australia looked like they might have lost this game, right? And they had one oh, ball left. And if the guy, hell. if the guy, if the guy hit the New Zealand player hit four runs, we would have lost the sport, right? So very unsportingly, the Australian guy bowled it underarm along the ground so it couldn't be hit. Ah, oh. and then just went. It was just, just being cuntish, right? right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just, just word, being yeah, cuntish. Yeah. But it happened in the late 80s, and the New Zealanders, if you meet them, they're still fucking upset about it. <laughs> 86 World Series, Mets and Red that's Sox. Right. <laughs> Bill Buckner. That's the same fucking thing. The Red Sox <laughs> fans understand that, yep. Jim. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, Jim, <laughs> fucking Rick from the Bronx is hysterical. What, what, what? <laughs> He's like, what oh, he okay. said Hold about us. <laughs> yeah, let's go there first. Uh, Rick in the, the Bronx. What's up, man? Good morning, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Hey. This is like trying to teach uh, chess to a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what I, when I saw that, I'm like, I wouldn't try to, to teach a man- Americans mu- chess. I don't think you'd ever figure it out, would you? <laughs> All right, guys. We love chess here in this country. No, you checkers people. What's a, what's nah, a, checkers all Jewish is... people in the park like chess. <laughs> what's a smelly? What's a, what's a smelly? Yeah. Just say, that's the same everywhere. I mean, the smelly. Okay, because I think dog shit sniffers try and do a John Sterling. The smellies win. Oh, I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> I have no I just, idea. I'm looking. For no, it. I, I don't. All right. I, Let's the, go to Kellen in England. Kellen. Hey. Hey, Kellen. Hey, I'm sticking up for Jim here. Fucking baseball. It's not that hard to understand baseball, and then we try and explain cricket to the Yanks, and they just fucking lose their mind. It's really not that hard. Uh, I'm starting I, I to realize that it isn't get, that hard. I started getting the hang so of it. Soon you realize that you gotta like stop thinking about baseball. Look, also, fucker. <laughs> it, it, it's not quite that we're retarded, but the explanation. I mean, I love Jim Jeffries, but his explanation <laughs> sucked a dick. <laughs> I, I, I've never been a good tutor. <laughs> Uh, Larry King's checking in, Anthony. Larry, Larry King? Yes, the Larry King. Larry! Hey, Jim, I want to ask you a question. Actually, how important is the wicket and cricket? And is there any coincidence that wicket and cricket rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> like a Larry King question. Very important, and yes, there is. What the fuck is a wicket? I just, I just explain that, it to you. That's that strip what that the f- guy uh, bowls the fucking ball on. But each, each time you get out, it's called your wicket as well. They yeah. had f- nine oh, wickets really? today. They had six wickets today. If you get yeah. a wicket, that means... Mm. And it's also... Uh, wicket was the youngest member of the Ewoks from the third Star Wars film. So, you really? <laughs> you know, one of the dwarfs in the little bear outfits. I enjoy a good of course. game. Of that's, what, that's what I always think about. Do you reckon George Lucas, like, how many dwarfs do you reckon he knows? Like, all up, George Fuck. Lucas. Fuck. All of them. He's yeah, got to know all of them, right? He's got to know a lot of dwarfs. George, George Lucas has got to know. There's a, there's a, there's a dwarf in uh, that does stand-up comedy in L.A., really good guy. But he's always surrounded by porn stars. Like really? all my favorite porn stars, he's like because he's done a couple of walk-ons. He never fucks in them, but they, they always need a dwarf just to do it, like yeah, play a butler make, or something. Make it goofy, yeah, make it goofy. Yeah, right? <laughs> and so he's just fucking surrounded by porn stars. I'm like, fucking me. Out of all the disabilities, I think dwarf's the one that I'd want. Really? Because if you've ever met like a real good dwarf, like a real small midget or a dwarf or something. They'll just go up to a girl and pinch him on the ass or go up and sit on their lap inside a nightclub and just go, ah, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf, right? But people with cerebral palsy, it's just creepy, you know, <laughs> when, yeah. when they're using their pinching stick. <laughs> pinching. <laughs> like, like, ah, ah. Or, or a quadriplegic uh. just sticking out their tongue at people on the side of the road to oh. buy pens off them. Like, <laughs> like a dwarf, at least it's like, a, hey, what are you going to do? I can dance for you. <laughs> I saw a show on uh, what the fuck was it the other night? Uh, like weird couples, A&A. and and this one this one guy, normal kind of fucking oh, no, TLC, yeah, nor, normal normal guy, right, is with this woman who is a little over two feet tall, 
and she had a completely normal head. Her head looked like kind of a good-looking she blonde was, woman. She was a bubble girl. head. A lo- good-looking, like, blonde chick. No, she, oh, no, I wasn't she ain't no- good-looking. I know what you're talking no, about. No, no, no. She, but can, are, they, are dude, they dwarves married? married? No, no, no. Oh, he, okay. He's totally normal. Okay. It's he's totally normal. Show. Sorry. She is like... Vertically she's this blonde. No, that's not her either. <laughs> no, she she's like this blonde chick, and uh, and and like her head is normal and kind of looked all right, but her body was so fucked up, and it was one of those like like she was squished her? in something. I, I'm not. I can't, I can't yeah, be sure. Yeah, yeah. She's not that hot. No, no, I don't think it was her either. You just be getting a lot of blowjobs. Engaged to a six foot four inch man. Might be. I don't know. That's that's a little weird. There was no? a girl at the comedy club the other day that had like, <laughs> oh, who's normal looking, but had like flamingo yeah, white hands that. just out of her shoulders. Oh, uh, little flipper right? hands. But she was fucking hot, man. Oh. And this is, I just wanted to ask her because her hair was so nice. How did she do her hair so nice? <laughs> <laughs> you want to ask them? You know, like, when did that? <laughs> like that's the guy. But it's it's so fucking funny. He carries her around everywhere. Yeah, like he carries her like a baby. Well, wouldn't you? You don't want to wait and around all day. No, nah, I know. Go to Starbucks. Forever. I don't even think she could like stand. She's like, she's really fucking small. And then they had a baby. Well, just just cover the rest of her up, and you wouldn't know. Yeah, but the that's difference. what I think what just happened. Like, like he probably got head. hammered. Just have a lot of tall tables in your house. He probably yeah. got hammered, and, and put she her put in some high pillows and stuff. under the blankets and pulled the blanket up to her neck. And yeah. gave him a really good blowjob. <laughs> oh, oh, what you do is what you do is you get her in bed and then you strap the body of a blop doll onto her neck, <laughs> <laughs> like 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 you're fucking a full size human. Yeah, a human. <laughs> and then like the the bonus is the bonus is you get to punch her in the ribs, <laughs> like what you really want to do with a lady, but it's just a blop doll and she can fake the screams and everything when you're really just punching her in the oh, foot. Shit, uh, like That's a real life human. <laughs> You know, that that would be something. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, I just saw that, and, like, he's carrying her around. And yeah, and, like, like when Yoda's carried around by Luke Skywalker when he's going through that yeah, test. Yeah, 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 through the test. That's, <laughs> how, that's how he's carrying her around in a little backpack. Do you and... judge me by my size? No. <laughs> <laughs> Steven S. for Bayshore. George Lucas is the king of the kickables. Yeah, he seems we call him to, kickables uh, on the show. Thanks call, to Stephen S. from Bayshore. Ki- you don't call yeah. kickables. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, here just, we go. Here we go. There she got. Yeah, we're watching her. Oh, um, she's got a bit. Oh, she, is she, is she, she must be pregnant. I think there. she's pregnant. pregnant. And she's going down the stairs on her ass. You know yeah. what her ass must look like? Yeah, she's not allowed to go on a regular roller coaster. Oh, and and there, there he goes. He's got, he's got to carry her up the stairs. Oh, my God. She could get up the stairs. Oh, no, the legs don't work, do they? I don't know. You've got to teach that girl a good handstand. <laughs> Let her walk around on her fucking hands. That's a, that's gotta be a nightmare. Or like yeah. a dog, like you know when a dog's got worms and it drags itself it drags on its, its ass, ass. Yeah, yeah, through the with the middle of the legs. That's exactly. A, that's a way of getting around. People want to know, uh, Jim Jeffries, why the cricket bat, this lady trucker, uh, is looks like a sawed-off boat oar. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's it's a, it's a flat bat that you just yeah. you well, just hit the ball how with. How would you use a baseball bat? Because you then the game a lot harder, then the, and a lot faster. By then the, the way. game would only last like a day. Like you wouldn't. So what's wrong with that? One day. That's crazy. Yeah. No, you know, you, <laughs> no but it's, it's, it's got to be that. five but, days. But with that bat, well, you can play. Five days. You can yeah. play different shots. You can defend with it. You, you have can, a goalie stick. You're not going to have a fucking round bat for a goalie and, stick. And you how need, many? You got to angle it. How many yeah. games in a season? One. Oh, not many. <laughs> One game in a season. Like, no, no, they'll play like a five-game. You wait five like, fucking Australia, days Australia and your team just, loses. Now you got to wait another five days to get your first win. Australia just lost the Ashes, which is like the big thing that only comes up every two years, like the biggest thing. It's, it's a tournament between Australia and New Zealand. And we don't really support like your county teams and your, like the I – I don't go for the Sydney Tigers or something. You know what I mean? You just yeah. follow the national team, and the national team will play maybe 15 tests a year. I got um, – I got uh, some maybe, audio. maybe it might be like ten tests here. I'm not sure. I got audio of a cricket game. Yeah. For yeah. real. Listen. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Ah, uh, don't be like that. What are you gonna be? Like? <laughs> yeah. Mild, mildly. Ra- so this is this is the weird thing about okay in in uh, Britain the most offensive word you can say is the word packy. That's as bad. Right. As, that's as bad as the N word. Right. I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, and uh, that's the the thing is we play in Australia. It's not derogatory, it's short for Pakistani, and we play we play uh, we play Pakistan in the cricket, 
And the England English are always amazed because there's big billboards all around Sydney that be like, the packies are coming. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? For us, it's just like the word Aussie. And the English people just, they're all underneath having photos taken. You know, a <laughs> bit of ironic racism. They love it. Yeah, <laughs> they love it. That's, a, that's the whole thing about, like, like with with racism or something like that. If you see a billboard like that, you'll still have a photo taken in front of it. You know, no one will ever be upset.